On Women's Day this year, March 8th, for the first time ever, a woman piloted a flight from the commander's seat. It was a helicopter flight from Juhu Airport to Mumbai High. In today's times, it is not uncommon for women to be part of aviation, a field which has warmly welcomed them for their truly deserving roles, as well as their capabilities. But now another feather in the cap has been added to the domain of women aviators, when Captain Mayuri Deshmukh of Pavan Hans Limited became India's first female offshore captain to command and fly helicopters to this world of seas. Companies like PHL and ONGC are empowering men and women alike to work hand in hand for a sustainable tomorrow are the companies which can help examples and break more barriers. So welcome Mayuri, excited to have you here and a big, big congratulations for this. Thank you so much. I'm equally excited. It's really nice to come on such platforms. It's a pleasure for me. Please tell us your story. I mean, why is it so daunting and so important? I started my helicopter training a while ago and uh, I was doing onshore flying. But what excited me mostly about helicopters was the offshore sector. And back then and even today, there weren't any women pilots flying currently in the offshore sector. That is how I thought uh, in case I apply, I, if I get through, it will be like a dream come true. What's the uh, difference between offshore and onshore? Let us know and why is it so difficult and more difficult offshore? Onshore is whenever you operate on land, though inter-island flying, like flying between islands is also counted as uh, onshore. But what I am specifically talking about is offshore, which is going to the oil platforms uh, and rigs in the sea. So these helidecks are very limited in size. They are above the structures of the uh, platforms. Landing becomes critical, takeoff becomes uh, critical. It completely changes the normal routine flying that we otherwise do. And it's also manual in nature. You can't use a lot of the automated uh, landing gears and stuff also, if I understand correctly. Yes, there is automation to some extent, which we would use automation in our cruise flights mainly. But while landing and takeoff, we are doing each and every landing manually. That too, the landings are up to maybe 30 or 40 landings a day, sometimes 50 also. And we are flying in hot and humid environments. So why previously have women not been in this area? It is just that probably the field was unknown. Even if there was some scope, maybe the entry wasn't uh, so well known. Now that I have become one, I wish to open the path for everyone. Otherwise, there's nothing so well, not so welcoming about this sector. Uh, it is just a little difficult in terms of uh, physical exhaustion, but otherwise it's a very uh, interesting field. And what inspired you to become a helicopter pilot? My father was in the Indian Air Force. He was a pilot himself. So as a child, I've seen him take off and land so many times that that was the only inspiration I had. And what can we all learn from this and what is the message that you want to pass on? This entire credit which is going to me right now should not be such a great thing as a female pilot or a lady pilot did it. I only want to bring across this point that the men before me who have flown and who are still flying are far more experienced. So uh, this is more about helping me to send this message that yes, women can join this field. I would love to have more women uh, coming in towards these kind of fields which are different from the others. Well, thank you Mayuri and I think your message will inspire lots of women out there.